Reducing our carbon footprint is a challenge for us all, but the burden of climate change will fall most heavily on future generations. Sale may be one of Manchester's greener suburbs, but it's not an obvious centre of enviro-activism. This looks likely to change as children take charge of the fight to cut carbon emissions. They're reducing energy use around their school and taking lessons home to their parents. Playtime at Woodhays Primary School. Over the last 10 years, they've developed a policy of promoting sustainability, with a difference. The solar panels on the roof and the outdoor classroom are visible signs, but the big energy gains come from taking every opportunity to improve the efficiency of the buildings using insulation, double glazing, low energy computers. Things improved even more when they gave the kids some control of energy policy. We've had a very positive reaction on the whole. Although it can be quite a dry subject, I think by having pupils leading it, it's made a big difference and everybody's come on board. It's involved parents and staff and all the other classmates. And so by asking them for their opinions and their suggestions, they feel more ownership of it. And I think we've got so much more out of them. One of the first lessons children are taught is to make sure electricity is not wasted on heat lost through open doors and windows. The windows are open. There's a network throughout the school to keep everyone on track. Every class has two children in charge of energy monitoring while the classroom is empty. My name's Eleanor. My name's Lucy. We're the eco monitors. We shut doors and turn off lights. And the eco-monitors aren't shy if someone's wasting power. The children come around the school and they, they actually tell me off for putting my radio on. They leave me little notes. Our teacher is not really good at saving energy because she keeps on leaving the radio on. And my computer's often left on when it shouldn't be. Also, she doesn't turn off the computer when she leaves. They do uh, become very confident in telling the teachers also about the problems in school. <laughs> Darren suggested anti-vandal paint. Now, who thinks that's a good idea? No democratic system works without checks, balances and rewards. In the top year is the Five Strong Energy Team and one of their jobs is to make sure the eco-monitors aren't slacking and there's only one way of doing it. At playtime and lunchtime, you check each class randomly to see if they keep on doing their job. Come on, let's go. We have to go around and do all the checks so not waste unwanted energy that we shouldn't really be using for now. Doors open, lights on, windows open. Mm. Not very good. Don't mind missing playtime because it's for the good of the school and there's loads more playtimes to play in. A careful record is kept of all the results and every class has a chart to record how well they're doing. The energy team found the best way to get results Mr Burns has been the best so far was by turning the challenge into a competition. Well, it's because he cheats really. I think it's a good idea because it encourages all the children, including the infants, to close the windows, turn off the lights and close the doors. Every four weeks the energy team announces the results of the month's best class. It's not just the prestige of saving the most energy that motivates the kids, it's chocolate. Very well done everybody, you have earned it. That's not all the energy team has to do. There's the weekly job of monitoring the school's overall energy consumption. Downstairs there's the gas and electricity and upstairs the solar panels. The readings are sent to the council where they're charted and discussed at regular meetings. The school is kept up to date on progress with information displays and assembly presentations. Gas consumption decreased by 30% from 1999 through technical measures and changing behavior. There's also a school eco-council where suggestions from staff and pupils for ways to improve all aspects of the environment are discussed and put to the vote. The children seem to live and breathe the message now. Um, all the way down from reception, I've got pupils who've listened so carefully in our, in our assemblies. And it's, it's sustainability generally. Yes, we've got energy management, but it's the full circle of uh, reducing, recycling, reusing, and the message is producing global citizens of the future. But how are the global citizens of the present, their parents, taking to the ethical lifestyle? 
We're just trying to be more efficient by turning lights off and not wasting water. Do try to turn the TV off more, not leave it on standby. Keep the doors closed. I've recently discovered if you do actually take your things off standby, it makes an incredible saving on your, on your bills. Uh, recycling all our things as much as we can. The verdict? 